guys, in this video we're going to be unboxing and doing a little review on this higher boxing Transit. It's got a two speed gearbox, trough scale, ready to run, four wheel drive, 2.4 gigahertz, oil filled shocks, full bearings, 390 motor, classic gears and splash proof electronics. Alright, let's crack him open. So you get car, spare wheel for the back, radio, battery, charger, instructions and stickers. And did I say it was dirt cheap? I'm going to put a link to this down below. First of all, we've got to charge it up. So you've got to plug that into there, that into there. And then it says here, you've got to wait six and a half to seven hours. Nah, I'm not waiting that long. So I've stuck it onto my hobby grade charger. No idea if it's safe or not, but uh, I'm impatient. Subscribe. So the only thing you need to get this thing to run is a couple of AA batteries. So while those other batteries are charging, Let's get this thing ready. So all we got to do is put on the back wheel, put in the batteries, wait for the other batteries to charge, and then we'll give it a blast. All right, so we're all charged up. So the battery to slide in the back here like this, and then we plug him in. Turn on the radio and switch him on. Ha! <laughs> That's pretty quick. Check it out, guys. It's even got headlights. So we'll have a little quick look over it and then we'll take it out for a blast. So it's got a solid axle in the rear, double wishbone up front, it's got oil filled shocks, diffs are open. It's almost the exact same size as the WL Toys version. Here's the size compared to a Traxxas UDR. Here's the size compared to an X-Max. So we're looking at around about 15 inches long, 9 inches wide and 6 inches tall. Here's the radio, fairly basic, and it actually has a two-speed transmission with a servo shift in the gears. It's not electronic, you know, it's not a high and low speed, it's actually a true, real two-speed gearbox, and I'm going to demonstrate that to you in a minute. Alright, here we go. Guys, the turning circle is actually impressive, check that out. All right, so this is in high range, the high speed transmission setting. And now we're going to put it into low range. So to shift gear, all we have to do is hit this button here. So we've got high and low. So it's a lot slower, but it's going to have a lot more power. Let's see if we can do some obstacles. All right, so we're going to start in high range first. All right, now we're going to stick it into low. Here's full speed in low. Now we're going to flick it into high. All right, so let's see how steep this thing can go up. So we could do this in low transmission. Look at that, nice and slow, controlled crawl. I reckon we can go steeper than that, you know. <laughs> Look at that. Straight up. All right, let's see if we can do it in high transmission. Oh, who put that there? By the way, we've got another unboxing coming up with this thing soon. All right, let's see if we can go steeper. Well, it's still going. Look at that, that's in low range, first gear. Oh, that's about it, it's not getting, it's not getting quite getting the grip, but it's still doing it. Well, there's about the limit there. Oh, check it out. Let's check out the angle of that. So we're looking at right bang on 50 degree incline. Oh, all right, let's try some off-road. Oh, 
<laughs> not quite enough power for a backflip. No, not quite. Oh! Oh, she's ripping a donut! Let's get this ramp a little bit higher. Oh, and the shocks are absorbing it. Get it into another cyclone. Alright, so so far guys, I'm super impressed. I mean, for the price, have a look at the link down below guys. These are crazy cheap, and especially with a two-speed transmission, you know, it's not that fast top end, but it's quite controlled. It handles pretty good next door on the slippery surface. You can drift it, it jumps. It hasn't quite got enough power for a backflip. It takes all the bumps really well. The suspension moves really good. Haven't broken anything yet, but in another video, we will be taking this to a BMX track, we're going to take it to a skate park, we're going to take it off-road out in the woods and stuff. Give us some notes in the comments, guys, what other sort of tests you want to see. So guys, that's it for this video. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, smash the bell button so notified. See you soon. Bye.